Hi everyone, I'm here to talk about summaries in the dashboard. Summaries are key components of dashboard reports that provide at-a-glance data displays of a deployment. Summaries let you count data by categories, such as this summary and the number of projects by status and belt level. You can use statistical calculations in summarized data to show data over time, such as by month, quarter, or year. Summaries can give you a snapshot of a value or a month-by-month -month breakdown of the same data. Also, highlighted summaries easily stand out in a report, letting you quickly spot areas that may need further attention. You can set up reports to include summaries that show various aspects of a deployment. For example, these summaries focus on the year-to-date hard savings of Black Belt and Green Belt projects, while these summaries show a detailed breakdown of that information. At the same time, you can see the project activity for both groups. Now that you have an idea of what summaries can do, let's take a look at the components used to create one. The Summary Editor contains six tabs that help you create the summary. In Step 1, you can choose one variable or multiple variables you want to summarize. Step 2 provides two options to view the time component of your variables, trend and snapshot. Choose Trend to see how your variables change over time, or Snapshot to see data for a single time period. Step 3 lets you summarize data across groups. For example, you might want to compare hard savings across business units. Step 4, the subset step, lets you define a subset of projects that you want to include in the summary. For example, you could create a subset that only includes projects that are in progress or not yet started. Step 5, the target step, lets you specify a single value or a range of high, medium, and low values so you can quickly see where you stand in relation to your goal. Step 6 is where you can customize the way your summary looks. Using the Settings tabs, you can modify the summary settings, table settings, or graph settings. To see how the summary editor works, let's build a few summaries, starting with this monthly combined savings by business unit summary. Click the Actions button, choose Edit Report, then click Add New Summary. In Step 1, choose Actual Combined Savings from Monthly Financials. While you can choose to apply any one of several functions, leave this one at Sum. In Step 2, to see how the variable you chose changes over time, select Trend and leave Trend Type and Date fields set to Monthly This Year and Savings Date. Selecting Cumulative lets you see how savings accumulate over time. If you choose a Past and Future option, you can see data for a specified time period. When you enter zero for past or future, you can choose whether or not to include the current time period. In step three, to add business unit as a grouping variable, under project summary, choose business unit and uncheck blank. This summary will not include a subset, so there's no need to click on Step 4. You'll do that in the next summary. In Step 5, from Target Type, because higher savings values are better, and to flag low, medium, or high values, choose green, yellow, red, higher is better. From Scale for entering targets, choose Thousands, and then enter 250 and 500 under Targets. You'll notice that target indicators are now displayed on the graph. In Step 6, on the Summary Settings tab, under Scale, choose Thousands. On the Table Settings tab, check Row Totals. 
Uncheck Savings Date and Business Unit. Then click Transpose. On the Graph Settings tab, uncheck Savings Date, then change the color palette. The summary title is generated for you, but you can change it or delete your changes to return to the default title. You can also edit the subset details footnote if it's present. Click Done. For each cell in the table, the color quickly identifies which target bin each value falls into. Next, suppose you are responsible for the commercial cleaning and office supplies units and you've set up the combined annual savings target for those two units at $17.5 million. Enter this as a yearly target to help you see how you're doing year-to-date against the target. To build a summary showing year-to-date combined savings for the two units, click Add New Summary again. In Step 1, from Monthly Financials, choose Actual Combined Savings and leave the functions set to Sum. In Step 2, select Snapshot and choose Year-to-Date from Snapshot Type and leave the Date field set to Savings Date. You won't select anything in Step 3, the Group step, for this summary. In Step 4, the Subset step, click Select a Field and choose Business Unit from Project Summary. From Condition, choose Any Of and select Commercial Cleaning and Office Supplies from Value. Subset details are automatically added to the bottom of your summary whenever you add subset criteria. You can edit this text to display what you want. In Step 5, the Target Step, to see your year-to-date standing against your annual combined savings goal of $17.5 million, choose Green-Red, Higher is Better, from Target Type. Next to Targets for each year, click Same. Under Scale for Entering Targets, choose Millions. Enter a target of 17.5 million. In Step 6, under Summary Arrangement, choose Table on Right. Uncheck Year to Date. and change the title to read Total Combined Savings YTD for Year-to-Date. Click Done. When you're done creating or editing summaries, you can rearrange and resize them in the editor. Then you can save the report. The summaries that make up the various reports in the dashboard are key components of dashboard reports that can provide laser-focused views into a deployment. Stakeholders can quickly and clearly see the current status, helping them to make the critical business decisions your company needs to succeed. For more information and videos, go to www.minitab.com.